Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bleed the brakes on the VFR 800. I got the brake bleeding tool, came in the post the other day. So um, here we go, got the bike out, um, removed the rear caliper. Um, the ca rear caliper is quite hard to get off, it's got two bolts, like an, an Allen bolt and a hex bolt, or I think is an Allen bolt because that's what I put in. One goes through that thing and one goes through further up. Don't know if you can see there where I'm pointing. There's another hole there. Those two holes bolt, point, um, bolt to it. That one's quite easy to get at. You just go in there. That one's really hard to get at. Had to get like a wee tiny spanner. Put the spanner up there. Couldn't get it undone because it was too tight. So I got the hammer. Tapped it undone with the hammer. Came undone. Managed to get the caliper off. Um, this nipple here. This is the nipple. That needs to be bled um, because the circuit that's worst, the real problem circuit, is um, this one here that goes from this pump. See that is basically just got air in it. There's, there's very little in there, if anything, if any fluid. The other circuits are not too bad. Um, the front one is kind of reasonable. It's a little bit spongy, but it's not horrendous. And the back one is a bit spongy but not too bad either so it's basically that one that needs that needs um uh that needs bleeding and it's the middle nipple that you have to bleed uh, to get the air out of that that nipple there does the two outside so this circuit here da -da 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 -da. sorry that one there where are we yeah does that piston and that piston so you bleed that from that one this circuit here which comes from the front that uh, you bleed that one through that one. So I'm just going to get the kit and we'll give this a bash. Right, so this is the tool here that I got off eBay. It was only 15 quid. It's a workman or something. Can't remember. Works quite well. Um, that's basically it. That's the tub that's supposed to pull the fluid into, and that bit, the end of it, goes onto the nipple. Um, the nipple is here. I've tried pumping it and it does as it wasn't pulling anything through even when I loosened it off as far as it would go it was trickling out around here before it was coming out there so basically the nipples all grunged up so what I've done is I've put a, um, just put a wee allen bolt in there it's one of those um, just to stop the, all the fluid from coming out because there is actually some fluid in that circuit um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and clean this nipple I'm going to pop it back in and then we'll have another go and see how that works right so I've now cleaned the nipple that is the nipple there. It was totally grunged up at the bottom. Um, down at this end, that hole there, probably can't see in the video, but it's now clear. Before it was completely grunged up. I just used one of these um, uh, pop rivets, a, like a, the used part of a pop rivet, just to clean out the inside. I uh, couldn't, it was too thick to get into the hole, so I've got one of these tiny little nails that I've got, tiny, teeny weeny sort of tack. Um, and I use that to clean out that. So that's now ready to go back in and we'll have a go at bleeding the brakes. Right, so as you can see, the cleaned nipples now back in the caliper. I've got an 8mm spanner on there, having to use a spanner instead of a socket for obvious reasons. I've got the pipe connected on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this loose, like this. There we go, you can see a bit of fluid, and then I'm going to start pumping. Okay, so here we go. Oh yeah, tons of air in that fluid, look at that. Masses of bubbles. So what that's gonna do, that's gonna pull it all down into that, into the container, hopefully. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut it off. I'm gonna have a look at the front reservoir because I suspect that will have pulled the front reservoir down a bit. Uh, it has, it's actually not an awful lot, but it's it's gone down a bit, so. I'm going to have to start topping that up, so what I need to do is I need to get something else to sit the caliper on. Right, so what I've done is I've put the caliper on the box um, that the tool came in, and I'm now going to top up this fluid. should probably use a funnel for this, but I can't hold the bottle, the funnel and the camera phone, so just have to manage. Here we go. Just a wee drop. Okay, that's as full as I can go. Right, so pop 
that down, open that up. Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to start pumping furiously again. Hope I'm not annoying the neighbours with all this noisy pumping. Look at that, loads of bubbles coming out. It's filling that up a little bit, it's about half full now. Oh, absolutely masses of bubbles. It's not doing anything, so it's not open or something. Try opening a bit more. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working, I'm not sure what's going wrong here. Shit. That's it done. And the lever is hard as anything. That lever is rock hard. Harder than it's ever been since I've had the bike, I think.